Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. A lot of the speakers we've looked at recently try to do everything. And don't get me wrong, that's awesome, but it isn't always what you need. The Logitech Z50 does one thing. It makes what you plug into it louder. Did I mention that it's cheap? Cause it's cheap. Looking at the box, you might find yourself thinking that there can't possibly be much in there, and you'll be right. Open it up and you'll find the speaker and manual while the AC adapter is located underneath. That's it. The Logitech Z50 is available in a few colors, all of which fall towards the pastel side of things. Our review unit came in blue, but gray and pink are also options. The speaker is just slightly larger than a coffee mug and the small footprint is an advantage if you're space challenged, but the Z50 is fairly light, so be careful you don't knock it off your desk. Speaking of knocking this off your desk, the Z50 speaker is located on top and it's completely exposed, so this is a little more fragile than your average speaker this size. Be careful. As light and small as it is, the Z50 isn't super portable. This speaker doesn't use a battery. If you want to use it, it needs to be plugged into the wall. That's no problem if you just want to boost the volume on your laptop, but unless you've got a really long extension cord, you won't be bringing this to the park with you. You won't find buttons, Bluetooth connectivity, or even a volume control on the Logitech Z50. Plug the AC adapter into the wall, plug the built-in cable from the speaker into the device of your choice, and you're done. Any volume control will have to be done from your phone, laptop, or other playback device. Seriously, that's it. With something of this size and price, you've got to keep your expectations in line, and we went into this review with that in mind. Still, I played my usual test suite, podcasts, audiobooks, and a bunch of different music. For a short playlist of a few of the songs that I played during testing, check the description. I was actually somewhat impressed by the Z50's bass response. You're not going to shake your walls with this speaker, but the low end is more present here than it was with the X100, and the music you listen to won't sound like somebody chopped the bottom end off. The mids are fairly full sounding, with a surprising lack of boxiness. Vocals seem boosted, which suggests a boost somewhere around 1kHz, but the honk you sometimes get with a boost in that area wasn't audible. There is a bit of sizzle in the high end, but overall the highs were fairly crisp and clear without much harshness. Things start to break up a little as you push volume levels towards the limit, but this is going to depend a lot on what you're playing back and what your playback device is. If you're worried about this speaker being too quiet, don't be. You know, we're probably cutting the Logitech Z50 a lot of slack because it's cheap, but that's kind of the point. No, it's not going to compete with more expensive speakers, but we don't expect it to. If the speaker is going to meet your needs, you'll know, and for a list price of less than 20 bucks, it's a bargain. We're giving the Logitech Z50 a 7 out of 10. And that's it for this one, guys. For some more detail, check out the written review over at soundguys.com. You can find a link to the article as well as to our forums in case you have a question down in the video description. Looking for more awesome audio stuff? Then why not subscribe to SoundGuys? The button's right there. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.